National Worldweight title fight now. Ami Rahman putting his title on the line against Sullivan Lafleur. But the great thing here about Rahman, four fights, four wins, four knockouts. Yep, Solomon Lafleur really fancies this one. Very unorthodox, fast, and Steve, this could be good. Absolutely, but Rockman, well, my money's on him. Ladies and gentlemen, this show title showdown is proudly brought to you in association with Guerrero Boxing, PJ Brown Construction, and our main event sponsor, Riser High Performance Screws. QBL presents five two-minute rounds in this national title showdown. Introducing first, the challenger in the blue corner, wearing the black shorts and the gold trim. His official weight is 10 stone, six pounds and four ounces. Fighting out of MMA Den in Battersea, London. Put your hands together for Solomon Leclerc! <laughs> Across the ring, his opponent stands in the red corner, the reigning champion. His record stands at four fights and four wins, all by way of knockout. Wearing the white shorts and the gold trim, he weighed in at 10 stones, six pounds and four ounces from Renegade Gym in Stevenage. Salute from the general, Ali Roman! Our referee in charge of the action, Mr. Seamus Dunn. Well, well it's main event time. Here we go. Five rounds of boxing to decide the destination of the oh, national right, world to weight title quick, held, held currently by the champion Ami Rahman in action here against Solomon Lafleur, who doesn't look at all phased by this one, Spencer Oliver. No, he looks very relaxed, very composed, unbeaten in ten contests, and yet he's up for this, Steve. I'm really looking forward to this one. Yep, unbeaten in ten fights outside the league, but uh, one one loss, one within. And, uh, well, Rahman, here he goes. This is his chance. Four fights, four wins, four knockouts. Yep, Rahman comes with a big reputation and a big right hand. And he's going to be looking to use that here. Yes, and you've got to wonder whether Solomon Lafleur can stay out of trouble for five rounds. That's ten minutes. That's good movement by the floor there, just leaning back, getting out of the way of the shots. It's Ami Rama, by the way. Ami Rama coming out of the Renegade Gym in Stevenage. He's trained by Gary Nichols, an old friend of mine. Former Sunday and title challenger, was uh, picked by Mark West some years ago now. And he's also, you know, for, I suppose really to morale support or moral support, he's got his brother T. T. Rama in the corner with him. This is good work here from Lafleur. He's got an unusual sort of style. Leans back slightly and he's uh, quite hard to hit. Rahman loading up with the right hands already, looking to get off with the shots early here. And it's a major problem, as I'm sure you know, Spencer. You know, when you load up with a shot and you miss, the amount of energy it takes out of your body is ludicrous. Yep, with the added heat in here as well, Steve, that's going to take its toll as this fight unfolds. Well, I'm quite cool at the moment. I've got a lovely fan behind me. Yep, your biggest fan. I've got to say, Lafleur doesn't seem at all phased. Oh, he's got through the right hand there, Lafleur, and Roman felt that shot. Came back, though, came back. Yeah, good first round there. The flow wasn't phased at all. Rahman was loading up the shots, but not getting through with much. And Lafleur, maybe just stealing the round. Landed a big right hand at the end of the round there, Lafleur, as well. And Rahman, right above us, felt the weight of it. You saw him wincing. And um, yeah, this could be interesting as this unfolds.
we go then for the second round. Let's go, Just to remind round. you, Amy Rahman, the running in the, the defending world well champion, against Simon Lafleur. Lafleur, in our opinion, nicked the first round. I think he was totally unfazed by the threat, or at least the potential threat anyway. Well, of Rahman, who's now going to work here with both hands. Yeah, he's had a stern telling off in the corner there by Gary Nichols. He's told him he's lost that first round. He needs to go out there and stamp his authority on this contest, and he's done exactly that. He's loading up with the shots, but Lafleur again, not looking phased at all. And I don't think Amir Rahman's too phased either, you know, Spencer. No, both guys want to get down to business. Well, I've got to say, I'm thoroughly impressed by the... Uh, Approach here by Lafleur. Well, Rahman giving it a big go here in the second round, loading up with a lot of shots. But look at this from Lafleur. He's come back with some lovely shots, and Rahman now trying to go for it. They're rolling the dice here, these two. Cracking fight. And let's face it, only takes one punch. Oh, and he's got him again. That's twice down this round. He's cracked him with some good shots. And I tell you, Steve Rahman's got to be careful he doesn't blow out here. He's loading up with a load of shots. He's decided to go for it in the second round. I don't think he's that kind of fighter, Spencer. He looks after himself, trains well. Oh, big white hand from the floor. Back comes Rahman. This action is brilliant here. Well, I think Rahman should have sold him a dummy there, but uh, he didn't, he missed instead. Good work again there from Leblanc. Cut combination punches. Another brilliant round from both guys there. Leblanc's putting the clusters of shots together. Rahman trying to push forward, not finding the target, swinging. Trying to land that one big shot, and Lafleur, the one getting through with the cleaner shots, and maybe just stealing the round again. Roman. Well, I'll go against you if you don't mind, but I've got a dead level, a round apiece. Yep, could be bright, Steve. I'm going to go with Lafleur, just landing the cleaner shots. Roman struggled to get a grip on on this contest so far. He's loading up too much with a big right hand. He needs to get back to his boxing and start getting off with his shots. Yeah, and we don't have to agree with each other constantly. No, we, we don't agree with each other much, if I'm honest. <laughs> Let's go, Corner! Here we go, then, round three of a five-round contest. So, just to remind you, Amir Rahman in the white and gold in action against the man in black and gold, Solomon Lafleur. Cracking fight, this. Movement there, I think. Yeah, that's from Rahman. It's better from Rahman settling into it. Good shots again from Lafleur. Rahman paying. Oh, big shot from Lafleur. Rahman loading up. He's wild. There's no boy what he's doing, and he's hurt here. Rahman. Oh, oh yes, he's in trouble. He's down. He's in trouble. He got hit. He got hurt. He's down. He's in desperate trouble here, Rahman. Oh, the referee's being out of order here because Rahman was caught with some big shots there. The referee Shane was done to give him some time there, he needed it. And he didn't even give him a count. But then again, you know, I've got to say, you know, in defence of Seamus, not all referees see knockdowns. The flower again landed some brilliant shots to the body. And the head, this is worrying times for Rahman here. He's looking unsteady. He's looking very bewildered, and he looks absolutely done in. Yeah, those combinations have definitely taken something out of him. Big shot again, missing. Oh, he's in trouble, Rahman. Body shots, head shots, the legs are gone. The referee is taking a look here. I think he's a finished Eight, article. Right. Yep, he's in trouble here, Steve. Le 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 knows this. Rahman loading up. 
Wild, no accuracy to his shots. Lafleur body shot. Oh! It only takes one punch. Oh, he's in trouble again. The body shots, head shots. Oh, he's gone. Oh. What a shot. What a contest we've got here. Roman showing so much courage. Referee Seamus don't ask him to walk forward. Oh, well, the bell's come to his aid. That's a massive round for Lafleur. That bell could not have come soon enough. Lafleur wins that round 10 7. And he's in desperate trouble here, Roman. I'm not sure a minute's going to be enough. Gary Nichols in the corner giving him a big telling off. And he needs something big here, Robin. He's rolled the dice, he's swinging the right hands, he's not landing the shots. And the floor made him pay for that. Ultimate round then, round four of this national welterweight title fight between the holder at the moment, Ami Rahman, and his challenger at the moment, Solomon Lafleur. Oh, he's going for it again. again. Rahman's in trouble here. And you get the impression that one more of those, and there's our referee Seamus Dunn will stop the contest. Yeah, he's in trouble here, Rahman. Right hand's gone in. He's loading up, he's looking for the shot, Rahman. Struggle to beat the count here, Robert. The nose is gone. The referee is taking a look. I'm not sure he should let him go on here. He's not a lot left. He's in desperate trouble. The legs are not right still. Lafleur goes in right hand in over the top. Body shot. Right hand. The referee's got to take a look here. What a fight. Whoa, right hand again. And he's in trouble. It's all over. Jumped up straight away there, and our referee Seamus Dunn took his instructions. So, what a cracking win there from Sullivan Lafleur! He is the new national world away champion. Well, speechless, I don't know what to say there. Lafleur coming the underdog, Roman the big puncher. All four wins on the Queensbury Boxing League by KO. And he tried to deliver Rahman, got caught with a shot. And Lafleur proved a tricky, slick, awkward customer with very fast hands. And he got the job done. Steve, I was impressed. Well, 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 ladies and gentlemen. What an upset. Our referee, Seema Stun. Stop the action after one minute and 11 seconds in the fourth round. The red corner was unable to continue. So the new national champion, Solomon Rafflar! And I'll tell you what, Spencer, it'll take an awful lot of replicating to uh, make you feel this good in the future. Yeah, certainly will. What a tremendous contest. Hats off to both guys there. They really made... Something special for us tonight. And I want to see the return. Oh, wouldn't we all?